Hey guys, welcome back to Modern Golf. You're probably like, what are you doing today? So I've had a number of you reach out to me recently, um, both in a nice way and a not so nice way and say, your reviews are full of you know what, because you're just getting brand new stuff, you're using it once or twice, and that's why it always looks new. I totally disagree, and if you really knew me, I'm meticulous on keeping my stuff clean. So I had a number, again, a number of you guys have asked, how do you keep your stuff looking new? We did a review last year um, about how do I keep my vessel bags clean. I'm gonna show you the same kind of thing, but a little more detail with how do I do it with my ghost bags, really any bag. Um, but I wanted to show you guys how easy it is. It literally takes under five minutes. There's no secret ingredients here. Um, pretty straightforward. I'll put the list of items that I would suggest you use, um, and then we'll kind of get started. So first off, this is just warm, soapy water in here. This is nothing special. I just buy a cheap orange scented um, soap from Target and I'll put it up on the thing. You can always use Lexol. Uh, they make a soap cleaner as well. Um, it doesn't make a difference to me. What I do suggest getting um, is a dauber like this. Uh, these you can probably buy online, but I would say if you have a, a shoe cobbler near you, um, get one from them. So really simple, and I know I'm gonna make a mess of this table here in a second, um, is I just take this liberally, I'll take my glove off here, um, just through here. And I literally just, there's no, you're not gonna do any damage to anything. And then once you notice it gets dry, I'll try to get some soap on here. I, I always, it's so funny when I'm doing this now, I always hear the rubber ducky song in my mind. Um, I don't know why, but anyway, so I just kind of rub it through here. Try to get like the crevices, like I just played a course, I don't know, I think I told you guys a couple months ago that the cart paths were, the cart paths were as dusty, um, like I was out in the southwest, it was awful. Um, and so this is a good time to do that. I'll move these over and I'll clean those here in a second, don't worry. Again, I try to get around, I even clean the base. I know I'm a weirdo. I try to clean the base of the golf bag because um, I want to make sure it's in really good shape. Again, I'll clean the top. We'll get the, the belly, the belly of the beast here. And I know someone's gonna say, oh, you missed a spot. I know, I'm sure I have. So I try to get everything, literally like just as simple as that. Get under it. Open these up. Again, roll this around. I will say, don't forget to get these. Again, I'm gonna do this top here. Hope you guys aren't sleeping yet. That's exciting. So then, the real good stuff, is I just dry, and I just use an old microfiber golf towel. There's nothing fancy here. And I then will try to get, if there are, if I see dust or dirt or debris, I'll try to get in there with it. I get people ask me all the time, do you use like leather conditioner? I don't, and I'll show you why I use leather conditioner just in a couple seconds, but I wouldn't put anything on these bags. I mean, this is just a polyurethane bag. It's not, you know, real leather, so I would, I'd be afraid to see what happens to it. So again, I lift up all the, the areas and get in there, and there's a couple places in the ghost that are a little different. And again, I'll get the handle good. To get these straps good. Get in there. And sometimes soap will get like, and I'll show you guys here, like get in here. Just put your nail, like, just rip the towel, um, just through here, and you can kind of get all those little crevices out. And I'll shout out to my boy Joe. 
he always asks me, how do you clean your bags? I always look brand new. Um, I just clean them. I mean, there's nothing to it. If you really have a tough, and that's why I brought this, if you really have an issue with a crevice, you can use this gently, like on the edge. I wouldn't use this on your whole bag. Well, I don't think it would hurt, but you may scratch it up a little bit, and that'll get the crevices done. Get the bottom. I get the legs, I get the feet. I'll try to show you guys how I'll turn this around here. You know, I'm a huge fan of keeping my stuff looking new. And I know guys will say, well, you have 100 golf bags. I mean, I use, I mean, I test a lot. Don't get me wrong. We test a lot of golf bags and there's a number of us that do it. Um, but that doesn't stop me being from maniacal of cleaning and keeping stuff looking new. Um, you know, I'm kind of a no excuses guy, so I'd rather have them clean and looking new. Um, so let me flip this around. I'll tell you what, let me wipe this table off first. Table needed a good cleaning anyway, so. So, long story short, that's kind of how I clean it. So it's still a little wet from being on the table. So what I suggest, once you're done drying, like once it's dry, 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 take a little of, and I like Lexol. This is just a leather conditioner, and I'll show you guys here. Just a Lexol leather conditioner. And even if it's not leather, it's not gonna hurt. So I do two areas. See this stuff comes out a little funky. Just put it there. Then I'm a huge fan, even though it's not leather. I like doing the top cuff. Um, Vessels, for example, is leather. Ghost is not. Um, you can even do the plastic up here. I don't like doing the whole bag. It gives it a kind of a funky sheen to it. Wait five, six minutes. We'll come back. Um, and then you can literally just wipe it off. And that's pretty much it. All right, so we've let this dry to a, to a certain degree. Um, and then you can literally, like I said, just kind of wipe off any leftover residue on this. Um, and then you're kind of good to go. Um, I don't know what it looks like on that side of things, but um, pretty, yeah, so it'll dry up again, but that's how I keep mine clean. Five minutes, six minutes at the most. Um, even if you sing rubber ducky in your head, um, it's that simple. And I do mine maybe once a month, every six weeks. Um, like I just had um, my vessel, I should have done it three days ago. I cleaned it about two or three days ago um, and it was a little dirty. I think I had rubbed up against something on a golf cart where it, the belly of it had kind of like stains on it and did the same thing and it came clean. So again, we did a review earlier the year of how to keep a white bag clean, same thing, but this is how I keep the ghosts, really all of them clean. It's pretty, it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. I think the secrets, the dauber, uh, any, any soap is good. And then, like I said, I like to condition the leather handle. Um, and then it feels, it feels nice again. Not that it felt bad, um, but love, love the Katana bag. Um, if you're out there, Ghost, if you could send me a Saya, I'd love a white version of this. Um, just saying. But absolutely love this bag. One of my favorites by far. Um, again, great golf bag. But super easy to clean. Um, and if you keep it clean, this will last you years, if not a decade. Um, so I've really been happy with these, but anyway, for those, so for those guys who are wanting me to do a review of how do I keep my stuff so clean, that's that. So anyway, guys, hope you're doing great. Hope we'll see you soon. My God, I hope it falls nice because I'm not ready for winter. Uh, hopefully we'll <laughs> play till December, but if not, uh, we will talk with you guys soon. See you guys.